It's me, Rowan Huang. You know what's so funny is um, I always tease, not really tease my friend, but I always tell my friends like she have she have problem with death, right? So in her own defense, she always say, "You make it sounds like it's just my problem, but just for your information, is majority of people have death issue." Right, so sure enough, this has been our long, long time debate until yesterday. I talk about death, and then you know, I guess、uh, then it have a lot of question. <laughs> you know, people have continuous question about death. That's what I、uh, realize, or not realize, or you know, I always know people have have question or you know issue around death. Right? <laughs> it just I say. So this morning I tell her, I guess you're right after all. <laughs> You know, the evidence proof majority of people do have issue, or, you know, question around death. But anyway, just here to clarify, I guess she's right after all. <laughs> And today we were gonna we're gonna continue talking about death, just not continue talking about, it, but just to answer some questions people ask regarding to death. I figure things is relevant. So before I start, my name is Rowan Huang. I am an author, spirit coach, and also a psychic. Ah, <sighs> before I start, let me clarify a couple things. This morning, my husband walked in, and she said, "I I saw your broadcast, but I noticed one thing." I said, "What?" And he said, "You say when you have baby in your stomach." And I said, "Yeah, what's wrong with it?" But you know, in the morning, right? I'm very slow in the morning. It took me a while to realize. Yeah. <laughs> okay. For young audience out there, baby don't grow in the stomach. Okay, it grow in the womb. I have to correct. So that was my mistake. You know, it's my ESL common mistake. So <laughs> I hope you guys understand that. So I apologize for giving you guys wrong information. Baby don't grow in stomach. My bad. So.、Um, Before I start this、uh, topic today, I want to share an interesting. Well, I personally find it interesting. Then again, any conversation I have with dead people, nobody thinks it's interesting. But I find this one interesting, <laughs> right? While having conversation with my friend's mother, that was this particular conversation I find、um, particularly interesting. The reason of that is the friend's mother is a very Sincere Catholic, Catholic、uh, believer, right? She go to churches every, probably every weekend, and think she she really follow Catholic rules, right? But if you guys have any idea, I、like、have a little bit idea. Catholic people don't believe in ghost, right? They don't believe in ghost. Basically, they don't believe in reincarnation either. That mean if you born in life, once it is done, it's done. That's it. That that's all it for you. And then once you've done it, if you follow every rule, then you know you go back to your God, and then there's where you belong, right? So while having conversation with this、um, friend's mother back and forth, so many times as I say, she talk a lot to a point because I guess I was kind of irritated by how much she talked. So I I kind of talk back to her saying, Why are you still? Here, why are you even here? Because you are Catholic. Catholic people don't believe in ghost, right? So that kind of throw the the mother off a little bit. So she she kind of paused a little bit and she say, "Well, I well, I don't know. Like you keep me here." I say, "Well, I don't keep you here. I I don't have any power over you, right? You come to me. I don't go to you, right? So anyway." She she kind of get us startled a little bit because I keep questioning back, right? Because I don't make ghosts happen, and and I can point it out. It's you who come to me, and to begin with, you don't even like me. Why you keep coming to me? And then she will argue with because well because you're the only one who can see me. I say well that doesn't mean I like to hang out with you, right? So we we will have this kind of nonsense conversation or something like that. But anyway, to a point that she startled, she was quiet for a little bit, and then she actually say, "It just, she feel, I don't know how to say it in English, but she feel, 
it does she doesn't want to be it. You know what I mean? She doesn't want to just <coughs> she doesn't want to just be it for her. She doesn't want to disappear. She doesn't want her life to be nothing. She doesn't want people to forget about her, right? And then I say, well, no one will forget about you. I mean, you know, your loved one will not forget about you, right? We're doing a tribute for you. A lot of people remember you. But she said that, well, that's not what she meant. She is, she doesn't want it to just be it. Like, that's it for this soul. That's it. That's it. I'm, I'm gone. I'm done, right? Like, she want to be, she doesn't want to be disappear, right? So, so she want her being to mean something. To mean something not just in human form, but mean something as an existence, as an existence of she is the existence, right? So anyway, at that moment, I kind of have a laugh. I, I have a laugh just because I, I guess based on what I know, what I discover and what I see so far. So I, I kind of try to be nice to her for once. And I say, you know what? It would never just be it for you. You would not disappear, right? All those, you know, hardship and things like that you go through life, it's not going to mean nothing, right? And then, I don't know about your religions, but one thing I do know is your, your God will take really good care of you, right? Whatever religions you believe, your God will take really good care of you. So I guess that, that gives her a sense of calmness, right? So the reason I share this with you is, I really don't, you know, I don't really care what religions you believe, but I, I truly believe whatever religions you guys choose to believe. You are, you are God, or even, even you don't believe in <laughs> religions anyway. I believe you are higher spirits, or even your spirit guide would take very good care of you. That confidence I have because I sing enough, right? Maybe, maybe I only know 2% of what I, of the whole universe, but I, I can comfortably say, as far as I can see, I see enough. And I truly believe, you know, there will always be people taking care of you after your death. So there's no need to worry about it. Your existence will not mean nothing, right? But it's when you're living. Don't wait until the moment you are dead to feel sorry about being, your being, you know? If you want it to mean something, start doing it when you're alive. Don't wait until you are dead. But anyway, I don't want the topic to go too far. As I say, I deal with dead people all the time. I can talk about that in every different way. But today, I'm going to answer the question. <laughs> question number one. Um, someone, want to under, someone want to know, would dead people feel scared? OK, scared? I'm not quite sure what you mean by scare. Scare as dying or scare as feel lost or not know what to do afterward. You know, they, they might feel confused, but then scare, I don't think so. So if you are referring scare as a pain or something like that, like, you know, physical, more that kind of pain, I would say they, they don't. They don't really is feeling scared in regard of the pain, but they probably feel scared. Not scared. I I actually scared is just not the right word. Scared is not a word I would use to describe ghost. They sometimes feel hurt when they see how their death creates so much hurt on the the one they love. That they do. But in regard to physical pain, no, they don't. So I hope that kind of answered the question you want to ask. The other person want to ask, um, does people, so uh, people choose when they're going to die? No, uh, no matter is a uh, accident or natural cause, right? In regard of that, um, I want to, I hope I later on will come back to, to dedicate another episode for this. You will later start to realize uh, life is full of choice. That is, no matter what you do, there's always choice. Like, I give you a very simple example for say. Like, if people piss you off, you have choice to how to respond, right? That apply to just about everything in your life, right? Like, what do you want to eat for lunch? You have choice. 
what do you want to do? Event happen, what, how you're going to respond to it? That is a choice too. So eventually you'll realize your life is full of choice. Choice of you can decide how it's going to go, right? Or at that moment you can decide how it's going to turn, right? So if you have a little bit concept of this, then you will understand, as I said before, you choose your parent, you choose your body, you choose when you're going to be born, you choose, you know, this, blah, 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 blah. So you plan this because it's your option. Why is, it, why is it your choice? Because you know the best of yourself, right? And you know how it can help you evolve, how you become, help you become a better soul, and etc. So it's same thing come to death. If you ask me, does people choose like, I'm gonna die at this day, day, you know, this exact day and something like that. Not so much. But were they, in the soul level, are they aware this could possibly happen? Yes, right. It would be roughly, it, it's like, you know, in the soul level, I might give you an option. You can go that, you can go there, but you will have an, you know, possibility, like some natural cause will happen, and then you might lose your life. Do you still want to do that? If in that moment, somehow the exchange value is greater, such mean if the exchange level is, but you will have a wonderful time with your family, and then that would be your you know, memory in the soul. Do you still want that, right? In the soul level, see, in the soul level, we make a lot of decisions. In the human level, we thought it's dumb, <laughs> but Trust me, once you become so, you understand you'll happen for a reason, for greater good, right? So we would make that choice saying, you know what? I would choose to have great memory, even though my life is short. So, so you, will have, you will have a choice, you will have an option, right? Because everything, every decision you make, everything you do will always come with consequence. So, you know, if you don't choose to have this good time, you might also have offering option, well then your kids might end up hating you for this period of time and then you have to worry that issue or, you know, because everything, right, everything comes with consequence, good or bad one, it doesn't matter. So your life will be full of choice. So because life is full of choice, when it comes to this question, does people choose when they're gonna die, it is also fall into that, it fall into that option, right, especially aside from the natural cause, which they might be given the option of A or B, especially when the cause is created by two people, you know, two people, it takes two people to work certain, like both evolve, make the right choice for the result to be different, right? If I make certain choice, and then you still remain not changing and doing the same thing, right? the outcome may not be too much different. I might evolve, but you may, may not. But if we both evolve, then certain things will be avoid, right? So life is full of tasks, it sucks, yes. But the good news is it's also full of choice. So when it comes to that answer, I will have to say yes. <laughs> in the soul level, I say yes. But not, on, not in regard of on exact day I'm gonna die but more on, in this platform, if I still don't evolve, or if my dying will create certain tests for those loved ones that they needed, that may be happening, then it would be my choice. Do, do you know what I meant? So I hope that answered that question. And whew, the third one is a little bit longer one, is regard to, uh, I would say more Asian. If you have an Asian background, this question is more, um, geared to it. The reason of that is Asian, in Buddhism, we got a lot of tradition in regard of dead people. That means once you die, we have a lot of, you know, things you have to, like tradition and rule you have to follow, such mean we have to chant seven days, and then we have to, a lot of, um, a lot of time we have certain chanting you have to do, certain uh, ceremony you have to do, and things like that. So this question basically is asking me, in Asian, once people die, you know, they were happy, like invite everybody to come to the house to do the chanting, which is usually the last seven or 10 days long. Is it really working? Like, is it useful? Or, you know, 
people would do certain thing that say is good for the pass away people. And then um, anyway, let me let me quickly sum it up. What I I think what I what the persons want to ask is all those ceremony, all those chanting, or things like that. Would they do any good to the people who pass away? Okay. Nowadays, the way they're doing it, I I couldn't. I don't I don't want to say completely useless. The reason of that is because I haven't visited every single one of them, <laughs> right? As I say, I have case here and there. Again, I don't speak for everybody. I speak for myself. As far as I can, as, um, from what I can observe, the reason we chant is because we want to give blessing. We, we give blessing, right? But when blessing become commercial, it kind of doesn't have that effect. So in my personal opinion, as you can see, a lot of people live in Western country, they don't chant. And then I think the past people pass away, they did just fine. You know what I mean? I believe it's truly from what you feel, like that, that blessing, you know, that, that feeling that you wish those people pass away can have a better life, can, can, you know, can be okay. And all that is what really gonna give them power. So it's not so much about what you read and chant. So in that regard, I hope I answered the question. And you know, so same thing as a ceremony, right? Ceremony, I think, in my personal, in Western world, they have funeral too, right? They, they invite family, friends together, and then they, you know, they, they feel the sadness together, and then they feel memory, we share the memory with the dead people and all that, right? It's not like they don't do what, what you were mentioned there, but it's just not so religiously. But in some way, some form, it's the same, right? We rethink, we rethink the moment we spend with them and all that. For me, those kind of moment, no matter uh, establishing in whatever form, right? Disregard that. But that that moment that we, the the ceremony or the things that we share. We, we uh, allow ourselves to share the moment, to remember that, to remember good time, to, to pray for them and all that, I think, personally think is necessary. As I say, you know, blessing. We can never have more blessing, you know what I mean, right? Like we human, I believe one day when we're more sensitive, we will feel that too. But you know, now we may not feel it, but they they can use it. That's what I try to say. So in regard of how that blessing gonna be delivered, either through religion religious way or not, I don't think it's as important as the the foundation of it. The foundation is if you wanna keep blessing, whether you going through religious uh, way or not, it's not as important. So the person also asked. So whenever we're doing that with the would the spirits always be at the present? Well, it depends. It really depends. The chances they will, because you know they like to collect the blessing, right? <laughs> Just like this friend's mother, she want to watch her funeral. It's the same thing. So most of people would, just because it's it's a precious moment. It's a moment with great energy, even though you th you think it's sad. But it's a moment where people actually spend time to remember the good time they have with that specific person. So that that time usually is quite valuable for the person who passed away. So anyway, I hope I answered that question uh, again. <laughs> I, I really hope I can clarify more question, not to make you guys more confused. So again. Today we talk more about death, but I hope I answer the question people have regarding to death. And again, if you like what I'm doing, join me. Oh, you can always join me live on Periscope, or go to my Facebook, or subscribe my YouTube channel, or go to my website ruwen.com. Till then, I hope I see you guys tomorrow. Bye.